What is the best yellow rose you can grow in the garden? Alina. It's a hybrid tea rose, E-L-I-N-A. Sometimes it's called Peaduce. You can get it at Palantine Roses, among others. By far a great growing rose. If there's one or two roses that, you know, somebody says, I want to start a rose garden, what should I start with? I would get this one. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Roses kind of get a bad name for how hard they are to grow. I think with most people, it's because they're getting varieties at the big box stores and they're just getting whatever they sell. And they're starting behind the eight ball. They're starting with something that doesn't grow well to begin with. So then they somehow get the idea that they're, they can't grow roses. And that is absolutely not true. Yes, you need good soil. You need to water and fertilize and all that kind of stuff. But if you start with something like this, you are going to have success. This is a Lena. This is an open bloom. It's a yellow. This is why I like it. It look, looks good at any stage. So this is fully open. You can see the stamens on it. It looks really, really nice. The other reason why I like it, it makes a great cut flower. Look at the form on it, um, that center right there. Um, so if you're into perhaps doing some rose shows, or let's just say you want to cut some flowers for your significant other, your neighbor, uh, cannot recommend Alina enough. It's an older rose, but again, makes long stem roses, a really nice yellow that goes from that to that pretty slowly. So it has something we call a long vase life. So when you cut it for your neighbor, when you cut it for yourself, it's not going to just open up and the petals fall off. And look at that. The other reason why I like it, it's a great open bloom or that hybrid tea form. Back at the beginning, I mentioned you have got to get good variety roses um, to be successful. Don't get those ones at the box store and when they don't do well, think you can't do it. Look at this cluster of roses right here. Um, it can be black spot resistant. Does it get some black spot? It sure does. So it's not as resistant as say like a knockout rose, but do any of your knockouts look like that? The answer is no. No, they do not look like that. You can't beat a hybrid tea rose like that. So the blooms look great. It's fairly disease resistant. And the last quality, it grows and grows and grows almost like a weed. For reference, this is my neighbor's fence, six feet tall. And you can see Alina is um, you know, just as tall as that, doing just as well. So it's a very well-growing rose, disease resistance, uh, resistant and great quality on it. So if you get a chance to pick it up, I definitely would recommend Alina. You can sell from the height of this. Incidentally, if you're wondering, this is grafted by Palatine Roses onto Multiflora rootstock. I've had it as an own root. I've had it on different rootstocks. It's not the climate I grow in. It's not the rootstock. It's, any not, it's not any magic elixir. It is the variety, the variety, variety. And I'll let you end with this. Alina, E-L-I-N-A. You can get it at many, many places, bare root. If you've got a question, how to order this, what you should be doing, that's why I'm here. Follow the channel for more helpful tips and get out today and order this so you can get it in your garden for the upcoming season. Take care, everyone.